Will ChatGPT replace consulting firms like McKinsey, BCG or Bain? In this video, we will talk about that. Hi, my name is Johannes Niari. I'm a project manager at Strategy Consulting and on this channel, I want to help you to learn the necessary skills that you need in your first years of your consulting career. And today we have a huge topic. We will talk about how will ChatGPT impact the consulting industry. And let's jump directly into it. Let's answer the question, what is JetGPT? JetGPT is a powerful tool that can generate human-like texts and it's useful for many different industries. So basically, it can be used for natural language processing. And this means tasks like summarizing text, translating, or having conversations. This technology can also do some more creative tasks like composing music, for example, or writing poems as well. And the big USP is of this technology that it also understands context. So if you have a conversation with this AI, it understands what you have asked before, what you discussed before, and it puts your question or your conversation into a context and understands your conversation as a whole. And of course, you know, this makes it really, really powerful. And this makes this technology ideal for being a chatbot or being used for chatbots or virtual assistants. But the huge thing is basically the future development of this technology. Because as you know, AI has to be trained through data and the more data it has, the more powerful it becomes because it learns more and more. And now since, it's, uh, since this technology is public, it has access to millions of millions of millions of conversations. And these conversations are used every single day to improve the algorithm, to improve the, um, the um, technology. And this makes it really powerful. And I think we can only imagine how powerful this, uh, this tool becomes in the future. So let's jump ahead and let's talk a little bit about OpenAI, so the organization behind this technology. So what is OpenAI? OpenAI is a, um, op is a research organization that does research in the field of artificial intelligence. It was founded in 2015 by the creme de la creme of Silicon Valley and the tech industry. So people like Elon Musk or Sam Altman have been part of the founding team and the mission of OpenAI was that they wanted to generate a human-friendly AI that serves humanity as a whole. In 2018, however, Elon Musk left the organization because there was some co conflict of interest between, uh, between the AI activities that they had at Tesla and SpaceX and of course the AI activities and the research uh, in the project OpenAI. Also, he said that he didn't agree um, on some of the recent actions and statements that were made by the organization. And, you know, he still remained a donor and a contributor to the project, but he was not part anymore of this organization. Then in 2022, they moved from a non-profit model to a for-profit model. And of course, you know, we just talked about the mission statement. You know, this raises some question and some doubts if this mission statement of, you know, generating this human-friendly AI that serves humanity as a whole, that they can still fulfill that. Because of course, if you are a for-profit uh, comp um, company, there are other interests involved as well. This is a topic that I don't want to discuss here, but just that you are aware that this initial mission statement is, you know, criticized or, you know, put into question by many different people. But let's talk about a little bit about the history of JetGPT. So JetGPT is a generative pre-trained transformer architecture. And this was a technology that was, uh, was set up and programmed in 2018 and was trained on a massive data set of over 40 gig gigabyte of text data, which allowed to learn the patterns and structures of the human language. Throughout the years, there have been you know, more and more um, updates of this technology. For example, the GPT-2 model, which was introduced in 2019. And in 2020, we had the GPT-3 model. And this is also the basic technology that JetGPT is based on. So it's based on the, uh, the GPT-3 model, but now it's you know, very tailored um, to this uh, use case of having conversational tasks. So let's talk now about how it actually works and how you can use ChatGPT. And for that, we take a look at the internet. We go to openai.com slash blog slash ChatGPT, and then you go to uh, that landing page. And as you see here, you can click on try ChatGPT 
And there you have to insert your email address and also your phone number. Be aware that this is an American um, uh, company. So in Europe, many people are concerned about you know, data protection. Be aware of that. But if you do that, if you log in your data, then you can create an account and use this technology. So if we go to this um, to the chat in interface, then it looks like that. So we have here on the left side many different chats. The more chats we have, the more we would see it here on the left side. And this is the main interface where you can have the conversation. And then here there is the text input and this is the input where you can ask questions. And since we are consultants, we ask a question that would be typical in consulting. For example, we can ask and um, give um, five trends in the automotive industry in five short bullets. And then you see that the, uh, the AI automatically generates these bullet points. And you can see that in real time. I mean, it's really, really fast. And you know, in only a few seconds, it gives you the five bullets. And if you go through it, you see, you know, electric and hybrid vehicles, connected and autonomous vehicles, car sharing, safety features, um, alternative fuels so these are really you know some very very cool futures and i can just ask you know give me three more and then it now understands that these three more refer to the um, trends that i asked for and then it gives more trends and you know the use cases that you have in consulting you know there are plenty of them and i think you know this is particularly inter interesting if you have to do some research about a topic that you've never seen before for example you can ask um, give me five ways to optimize the order to cash process. You know, let's take the scenario that someone asks you to do some research, uh, research about that. You know, typically it would take you a very, very long time. But if you use ChatGPT, you know, you get a very quick understanding of what you can do. For example, here it mentions automation, then streamlining, communication, also, you know, credit management. So this is very specific now already. Then online payment as well, very specific. And now let's wait for the five, fifth bullet and then real-time monitoring. Okay, so these are five bullets that you can get in a very, very quick way, even, you know, if you have no idea about order to cash process and it makes the entire research process for you as a consultant very, very easy at the beginning. So the big question is now, how will that impact the consulting industry? How will that change the consulting industry? And of course, you know, this will change the way how we work in consulting. And the thing is that this will replace many, many, many research tasks that we have to do or other tasks as well that we have to do in consulting. I don't think, you know, that it will replace consulting because, uh, you know, our main job is not to do research. Our main job is to solve management problems and there will be always a need to do that. And there will be always humans and um, be involved because, you know, still a organization, a company is a very, very complex model and it's very, very complicated. Not all of the data is available in a digital way. So there will be still, of course, many, many people involved in the consulting industry. But we have to be aware that many different tasks like doing research, also like slide building, because imagine the combination of ChatGPT with a technology or with a tool that puts these um, um, text boxes on a slide. And then within only seconds, you would have entire slide decks about a certain topic. So this is really, really, really powerful. I don't think, you know, it will replace consultancies, of course, but it will definitely change how we work in consulting. It will make our work much more efficient and it also will change the requirements for young consultants. So be aware of that, that this will change how we work into, in, in consulting and you have to prepare for that. And this will definitely be a huge topic for the next years on you know how to adjust on this new way of working. If you like this video, then please leave a thumb up. Please also subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, then please write them down in the chat. I'm also planning to do more videos about ChatGPT and how it will impact the consulting industry. So if you're interested in that, if you have certain topics, then please put it in the comments below. Also, of course, I'm interested what you think about this technology, how this will impact the consulting industry. Also leave it in the comments below. And with that being said, I want to thank you for the time. Hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Goodbye, Johannes.